Hey Anonymi, welcome to a coin shop video, which is substituting for the coin show that we didn't get to go to. So I'm here with Junior tonight, say hey Junior. Hi. And uh, we went to the coin shop and tried to do what we could do at the coin show, and we had a good time. And uh, this time I focused on the uh, quarter book that I'm working on in my Ben Franklin book, and uh, Junior got some cool stuff too. So Junior actually got a job. And so normally we give him a $10 little allowance for these coin shows, but he was able to spend a little bit more this time and came home with something I think you'll agree is pretty cool. It's so, awesome. Do you want to start or would you like me to start? I'll start. So first, like the least coolest. Um, this is going to be hard to fill out, but it's a present um, golden dollar book. Once I did a wax museum and it was assigned for my school and... Um, I was Ulysses S. Grant. Um, Starts in 2007. And I know his name's right there. In 2011. And Junior was very excited to see President Ulysses S. Grant in the folder because he did a cool school project. Well, with a wax museum. A wax museum. If you don't know what he means by that, he it's means It's like a that, character that's dressed up and they make a button and you, when you press it, they make a speech. Yeah. And he did a little... He read a book... Did a book report, learned a lot about Ulysses S. Grant, and <clears throat> set up this wax museum, and uh, kind of did a little biography uh, verbally for for us. Um, so what else do you have here, Junior? Next, um, these he are. Wanted, actually... He wanted to show you the book. This yeah. is this is the kid's biography of Ulysses S. Grant that Junior read, and he, and he read it all on his own, and he's a he's a first grader, and he was. Ripping through this little first grader chapter book. It was pretty great. Anyway, continue with your... These are actually kind of rare, but they're coin medals. Um, I'll take them out of the little bag so you can look at them and see them easier. You can show. I was so, just going to hold one while you held the other one. This one is just like an ancient metal. It's like a reproduction of an ancient coin or something. Uh huh. It's pretty cool looking. And then this one is a uh, 35th anniversary for Ford. It was like a research and engineering department medal for some of the Ford employees. Junior thought that was cool. And then here's the last and then finally, this awesome is, thing. All that stuff was uh, courtesy of the coin dealer, but this is what Junior was really this excited about. This is a 2020 mouse coin. It's so shiny you can't really see it. We'll it's get a reverse it. proof we'll get it pretty focused. much. It is. So this is out of the Australian Royal Mint. Elizabeth II is on it. 2020.9999 silver. They don't do that on the Walking Liberties. And it's the Year of the Mouse. That's this year. It's kind of a cool design. Junior saw it, fell in love with it, had to have it. And it's done in a reverse proof, which is what a lot of these bullion coins are done out of the Royal Mint, but it's still really cool. Now, personally, uh, we have another video coming up very soon that is going to necessitate these dime rolls. So I got those three for a buck. Tubes, dime tubes is what I meant to say. I was upgrading, not upgrading, filling holes in my Washington Quarters book. I've got every clad, except somehow I managed to not have the 94P. I think I bought the 94S twice and missed the 94P somehow. Anyway, I'm beginning to move backwards in the silver department. And so, for this, I got a 56. BU, 56D, BU, 57, BU, 57D, BU, and lastly but not leastly, 58, BU. I'll let you take a look at the reverses. They all look pretty, pretty similar to one another, but they are cool. These are all nice and frosty. Good strikes. Frosty white silver. So I'm excited to upgrade these. I got these for 
not much over silver price. Very excited about the deals that he was working on those. Now, this is one of my favorite collections, and I'm not done with it yet, but uh, I love Franklin Dollars. So I've been working on upgrading this second page. And on the second page, everything is BU except for this 59D needs upgrading, and the 58 needs upgrading. But when I went to the, the shop, I actually expected to look for those two being newer and, and more affordable. What I came across instead, look at that. I think that's a mint state, 1950, Denver. That's an early date. Look how frosty that is. I'm not sure on the grade. This is not one that I would send in for grading. I don't think it's going to get like a, a gem 65 or better or anything. But I would say this is in the 62, 63 range. It's very frosty and beautiful. And then these two are amazing. This is a 54D. Look at the sheen on that. What a strike. Look at the detail on the writing on Liberty Bell. You can see enormous amounts of detail. I was really especially pleased with the 54D. I thought that was gorgeous. And then lastly, the most scarce, a very frosty 54S. Although not the most valuable, it is the most scarce of the three. And it's a little bit weaker strike. The strike isn't as amazing, but the condition is extremely good. Very high grade. So I'm very excited to upgrade those three BU Benjis in my book. I think that gets me over halfway on BU, so I'm pumped. Anyway, we were just sharing what we did today at the coin show. Appreciate you guys watching. We found a really cool box of something. I'm not going to give it away, but we're going to need these. So we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, bye Anonymous.